I didn't really ever come out. I kind of went through life a little bit scared of coming out. Although I'm proud that to be gay and I'm proud to be out. Growing up was quite a nervous time. I didn't want it to define me or be the first thing people thought about. Hi, I'm Louise Clark. I first started watching Bournemouth uh, when I was around, probably between eight and 10 years old. Uh, my first match I came to was against Brighton. Being LGBT, the big thing is that people always just assume. When you're talking to people or meeting people, there's always this, when do I tell them or how is it going to come up? You never know what you're going to hear or, or, how, or how people may look at you or treat you, especially if you're going with your partner or, or, or you think it could be quite apparent that you're gay. I think it's good that the way that we're moving forward and the way that clubs are, are making, making you more welcome. I suppose I've always struggled with my mental health in, in general, so uh, with everything that being LGBT has with it and, and the worries and the stresses, um, it definitely made my mental health worse for a period of 10 years uh, when I, I, I was at my, my very worst. Uh, I would struggle to leave the house. Um, I actually didn't leave Poole or Bournemouth for about 10 years. I know, I know anyway that I've been a lot better the last few years, but proof of that is that I've actually managed to go to some away games. I feel safe in, in this environment, um, around the people, around the club, uh, and that really helped me. So I'm part of the Everyone Together campaign, uh, which is uh, the club's equality and diversity campaign that they've recently launched. Um, being involved in equality and diversity um, with many hats, um, I think it's fabulous from the club's point of view. Um, there's nothing really like it at any other clubs. I founded Proud Cherries, which is the official AFC Bournemouth LGBT supporters group. And within Proud Cherries, I, I always want it to feel like a, a bit of a family uh, and a way of making new friends with similar interests. I think it's important that LGBT people are visible at football, is to encourage other LGBT, LGBT people to, to come along and, and that football matches aren't somewhere you should be afraid of. 